on our first recipe as i told you we in lenten mood we'll be doing some fantastic lenten recipes using a range of seafood from ocean delight today before i tell you what i'm doing here i have some 6170 shrimp from ocean delight this is already peeled and deveined you don't have to do any work straight in whatever your seasonings you like and cook according to what you want to do today i'm using this shrimp but again, a little fancy on you. I'm putting a little pressure. Again, a little fancy on you today. Nothing too difficult. Follow the recipe on coppagecaribbean.com and you could, you, could, you could take it up a notch this Easter weekend. Onions in some oil. No mats. And adding some green peppers. Whatever peppers you have in your, in, your, in, in your fridge. Green, yellow. They're coming in all kind of fancy colors these days. So onions and peppers. To that right away. I love the flavor of pimento, so I have some pimento peppers here as well. So I'm getting some pimento peppers in there. So basically your onions and your peppers kind of get cracking. For those of you who know, I like to season in yeah, layers. We learned that the hard way. So just a little salt, touch of salt, touch of pepper. First layer of flavor going there. So once my vegetables start getting soft, this is very important guys, actually you kind of allow, make sure your vegetables cooked and soften and then you can add your garlic. I make sure and add my garlic last with the vegetables because I love garlic but I don't love burnt garlic. Don't burn the garlic. So the garlic comes in last and you must know when that garlic starts to infuse with the rest of the vegetables, you could have smell it. Give that a, just about a minute or so, let the vegetables cook down. So guys, I always forget this little trick. This is some brandy, favorite brandy, whatever brandy you like. Just when the shrimp is cooking within that three to four minutes, you add a little brandy. You could add a rum as well if you want, you know. But, but yeah, brandy, rum, and that alcohol will give it that little extra little that when people taste it, they want to, what is, what is this? Yeah, is that, don't tell them. A little bit of shadow benny, just at the end. And I watch my time, because my shrimp have probably just about a minute or two, as you're seeing a change in color here. And that minute or two will allow the brandy to cook off a little bit. Switching off my fire, because my shrimp is ready. I am taking my shrimp out of the pot and emptying, emptying it into this bowl. See all our goodness? I am just going to allow this to cool for a minute or two. And when it's just cooling, just cooling down just that bit, I'm going to take it over to my food processor. This is where the flavor of the shrimp bisque all comes from. I'm going to mince this and blitz it to as fine as possible. Check it out. So guys, this is basically a shrimp paste. Um, you get all that shrimp, all that vegetables in this flavorful paste. If you smell what I'm smelling, the seafood shrimp flavor that I'm smelling here. Um, yeah, it's really just amazing. So I'm going to now build the soup in the pot. So I have some butter that I have melting in the same pot wash the pot out because all our flavor in that pot there will contribute and add to the flavor of the soup. Butter melted, in goes the flour. You want to whisk this as you'll be seeing here until the butter and the flour becomes one almost. Just until it starts drying up, you're going to feel it, you're going to see it. You don't want it to burn. So just as you're seeing it, coming together, butter and flour, one mixture, you add 
some milk. So I have two cups of milk that I'm adding directly here. I'm also going to add some heavy cream, some cooking cream, half and half. This is really just for that little rich, you see the difference in the, in the floor, the pour? <laughs> this is just for that little rich, richness. It's not necessary, but it helps, it adds. And you basically kind of stir this, whisk this until it thickens. You're going to feel it thickening. You whisk, whisk, whisk. Take a little rest. Whisk, whisk, whisk. In just a couple of minutes, right? Just be patient with the, with the mixture um, and it's going to thicken. No more than about, I would say, three to four minutes. Safe to say, when it stops splashing all over the pot, when you're whisking and it stops splashing, and it's now rolling down the sides of the pot, it almost gets like a nice thick sauce. That's what you want. And now, it's time to have some fun. You take all this good shrimp flavor and add it directly into the and stir in, fold in, fold in, fold in until all that good shrimpness, <laughs> just made up a word, all that good shrimpness mixes in with the white sauce. And then I have some seafood stock. Um, you could use vegetable stock, any, any type of stock, they're all different types of stock all over the place. Now, one of the good things you can use actually is something called clam juice. I think it's, it's sold on the supermarket shelves. It's another layer of flavor that you can put in here as well. But any seafood stock, you add straight in there. I think about four cups. But check the recipe on cupofjocaribbean.com and stir in. Fold in, fold in, fold in. Fold in, fold in, fold in. My final bit of magic is a little bit of tomato paste. Some tomato paste. Um, not, not ketchup. <laughs> right? It's tomato paste. So make sure you get the right thing and you add in there. Gives it another rich layer of flavor. Final stew. Just for good measure. That recipe, if you follow, really doesn't need reseasoning. Trust me. Um, once you once you follow the layers, but you know, just for good measure, reseason and stew. Goodness, as the young people say. <laughs> I'm getting ready to plate this up for my very, very special guest in studio. So it's time to plate up. So guys, I had a batch that I had kusumain as we like to say here. Um, the longer it sits, you know, the better you do this overnight if you want to serve it the next day. You know, you, you keep it in the fridge and then you heat this up and there's all kind of love and magic happening in here. Just before I serve this soup up to my special guest, this touched me on Panorama on final night. Um, I told you Duvon Stort is here. He is a cultural ambassador in my mind now. Uh, he has represented the steel pan movement in a way that not much, not many people have taken to the forefront and boldly represented our national instrument. It touched me in a way, my poor reason as I'm speaking here now. I didn't go, I didn't go in the Savannah, but I, and I ain't hearing any gates whole, year, whole, whole, whole season are jumping up and down all over the place because I saw all stars, man. I didn't hear any kids, and everybody tell me, oh, go on, ready kids, something good boy, ready kids, something. So I tell my wife, I say, when ready kids playing, please, if I'm sleeping, wake me up. She wake me up to make sure I hear ready kids play. And as ready kids playing, 
they played Black Stalin's Feeling to Party. I want us to take a little moment just to reminisce and look back at the performance. At the top of the performance, I said, but that man voice sounded familiar, were right? It was the last interview that Black Stalin did before he got ill. It was right here on Copper Joe. Well, not right here in this space, but, but right on Copper Joe. Uh, where he spoke about the song, Feeling to Party. Take a listen. The 1991 composition, Feeling to Party, composed and sung by Dr. Leroy Callis, the Black Stalin, Drill Master Andrew Charles, Arranger Duvon Stewart. Please welcome to the stage back number 11, BB Renegades Steel Orchestra. If I were to ask you the closest song that you would have done to your heart, the closest song to your heart. Not necessarily the biggest song, but the closest song to Black Stalin's heart. Um, I like Black Man Feeling the Party. I think it says so much for family life, you know, and, um, and it says so much for, you know, for having fun. And I think, you know, uh, when we look at Trinidad today, I think, you know, like, um, we have fun, it's so hard to find, you know, when you hear a song that we could really have fun, you know, mm -hmm. to know that somebody could put words and music together and have the world dancing, yeah. somebody, you know, well, look, I tell only you know, mm -hmm. down there, and mm -hmm. at least people having fun somewhere, yeah. you know, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I think Black Man Feel the Party is one of the songs that I really love. I want to party! My shrimp bisque for my very, very special guest, the chief cook and bottle washer of VP Renegade. Duvon Stewart, a gentleman that I am so glad I'm able to serve this soup. And let me tell you, he jumped when I told him that that interview he here when he was getting on like Stalin on the stage <laughs> was done right here with me. And I was so grateful that I had the opportunity to interview the Black Stalin, the great man before he got ill and of course yeah. before he passed um and when he came on the show it wasn't this soup <laughs> but it was a soup that we did for him wow that same day i would never it was a soup we did we did a a beet soup wow for the black man that day yeah, you're getting a shrimp soup today welcome 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 yeah, it's really a privilege to be on cup of joe man. <laughs> really a privilege to be on cup of joe so before you get emotional with me yeah, take, man. I, want take to, I want to take a taste take a taste, take a taste. Yeah, <laughs> amazing <laughs> amazing i'm a lover of soup you're a lover of soup i'm a f seafood man so i i, I yeah I'm going to take the next one. Yeah. When you take two sips, when you take two spoons, I mean, I mean it's saying something. It lashing. It lashing. Yeah, it lashing. It lashing. It lashing. 